Oh, wow. What's up, guys? Um, Crate Junkies. Found this today at a Goodwill. It's the George Harrison songbook for All Things Must Pass, and it's ripped here on the front. It's got a rip, but I'm going to tape that up on the inside and make it look all nice, but it's really nice. And I mean, for the 10 cents that it was, it's a nice piece to add to my, my little Beatles collection. Um, it's probably not worth much, but especially with the rip, but it's still cool. Um, little story before I like go into showing everything for um, Goodwill Hunting. Um, man, another same fucking story again. Um, I go in, same guy. He's going through the records already. <sighs> he gets Buffalo Springfield. He gets Beatles Hard Day's Night. A couple other really good finds. But good thing is, is there was still a lot of stuff left for me. There was a box of gold. Um, if you think that my last Goodwill um, hunting video was good, just fucking wait until you see some of these records. I almost shit myself, literally. So I'm just going to show these first. We're listening to Green Thoughts by the Smithereens. Um, most of you people know that. Um, just actually a record I've had sitting around and just haven't got to listen to. I see a lot of people talk about it. I see it a lot, and I've never really listened to it, so I'm just checking it out. I'm going to start showing stuff. Um, this is one I could not find, and I just I didn't have a lot of time to uh, do a lot of uh, research on these or to really, um, to really dig deep on any of this stuff. So the first one is this... Um, and don't, don't give me, these are the ones that I kind of are, you know, whatever, but um, you'll see, you'll see, just stay tuned, let's put it like that. Anyway, um, the stuff, the stuff Smith Memorial album looks to be like uh, some jazz, um, we've got violin, tenor sax, piano, bass, drums, names on here I'm not familiar with. I do see Dizzy Gillespie mentioned, but I don't think he, obviously he's not, I don't think he's on this. But it looked like an okay record. I mean, for the buck that all these were, they're actually under a dollar. Each one of them comes out to, I think, around 68 cents. Um, next one, nothing too special on this one either. We got um, 20 Original Winners, Volume 1. Just one of those records that you can throw on, and I love these records, compilations like this that have short, sweet, good songs on. Um, the Crows are on here, Little Joey and the Flips, Joey D, Joe Jones, Bobby Lewis, um, the Penguins, Earth Angel, um, some more Joey D, Lee Dorsey, the Cadillacs, the Drifters, Lou Christie, just good old uh, 50s, 60s rock rock and roll stuff on here and I, I love these you know I mean I really do anytime I see them and they got good tracks on them and they're in good shape I pick them up and this is on that roulette you know and it's in really nice shape and it's a long play you know each each side has almost 10 songs on it so that's a good one also a Dylan record that I don't have I have a almost all of Dylan's records this is one I didn't have though and this is uh, Nashville Skyline by Bob Dylan. This is one I did not have. And, uh, you know, this is in really good shape. And I don't, like I said, I don't I don't have this one. I don't even think I've ever heard this one, to be honest. Um, just on that Red Columbia, I have to actually clean and sleeve this one. A lot of them didn't have sleeves in them. Um, got another copy of Cheap Thrills. Already have this, obviously, as many of us do. Um, you know... A lot of people have this record. There's Joplin on the back there. This one's a little upgrade from from mine. Um, mine is in not in great shape. It's on that Red Columbia. This one is looking very nice. Once I clean this up, sleeve it, um, take a white eraser to some of this white here and get it to be nice and white again. This should be a really nice copy. Um, and it's it's really nice straight edge here on the on the spine. So that's a good one. Um, had to get that. Next one, another one I also have, but I figured you can't really pass up a copy of this record because it's a damn good record. Um, Leslie West's Mountain, um, just a killer ass, you know, rock fucking record, uh, 70s. I think this is um, 70, I want to say like 
76, 74-ish, something like that. I could be wrong. Um, and it's it's just beautiful. Um, it's on this... Uh, I love this label, this Windfall um, label. I, I, I absolutely love this Windfall label. Um, love that label. And it is actually... No, we don't have a date here either. But clean that one up a little bit. Next find, um, I have a copy of this too, but I'm not going to pass it up for under a buck. Um, it's got the gold record award sticker on it. Obviously, Iron Butterfly, and I got it to beat it. I mean, this is the reason why I picked these up is because this is a quick sell. You know, new kids coming in. It's on the Yellow Aku. Um, new kids coming in to um, collect they're gonna are gonna look for this record you know it's a quick five six seven ten bucks whatever you want to put on it depending on condition I mean it's splitting a little bit down here but no biggie and I mean I haven't got around to selling yet so I'm just kind of stocking up on things this may be an upgrade for me I have three copies already but I don't pass this up for a buck um, one of my favorite records, A Night at the Opera by Queen, and uh, this is in really good shape. And it's, you know, this is classic record. It's got the original inner in there. Um, it's on Capitol, so a good find for a buck. Um, next one, this is a this is a good one. Some, um, you know, this is just good. The Live Adventures of Mike Bloomfield and Al Cooper. Um, this is a uh, 19, and I, I'm not going to get a date on this either, 70s. Um, love this Norman Rockwell style. I don't know if Norman actually did that, but it does say Norman Rockwell down here. I don't think he did. Um, gatefold, double LP, really nice. I think this is like along the lines of like blues, um, blues rock, something like that. Electric blues rock, Not maybe not electric blues, but just uh, blues. I'm not really familiar with that album, but I know it's a good one. Um, I, I did a little research before I got on here. Um, another Mike Bloomfield. Um, but this is uh, Al Cooper, and this actually has Stephen Stills. So this is Super Sessions with Steve Stills and uh, Bloomfield and Cooper. So that's another really good record. Um, this one is on the Columbia as well. Red Columbia, nothing super spectacular about the label. This one's in really good shape. i got to clean that one up. I mean, the vinyls on all these are really good. Uh, this one's probably, out of all of them, the least appealing. John B. Sebastian. This is some, like, folk, folky type stuff. It's in really good shape, um, but uh, I, I don't know much about it. And uh, it's got the original inner and everything. Like, it's got lyric, a lyric sheet in there, and it's in superb condition. I mean, it's, like, mint. Um... And it's probably mint because the person who had it never listened to it because it probably isn't that great. Um, now, I don't know. Maybe maybe you like this guy. I've never even really heard of him. Um, I do know Stephen Stills is on here. David Crosby's on here. Nash is on here. Um, uh, there's a lot of other people who are on this record as well. So it's not like a complete loss. There is some probably half-decent stuff on there. But uh, let me know. I mean, I, I never heard that one. Um, also, already have a, a copy of this one, but I had to pick this one up because this one looks to be in a lot better shape than mine. This is on ABC, BB King, Anola, um, Mississippi Seeds, and this is you know one of BB King's I think best, well the ones that I have anyway. Um, this is this is one hell of a fucking record. You got his feet prints over here and stuff. Um, if you ha if you're into the blues, electric blues or just blues in general, and you haven't heard this record here pick this bad boy up um this is i have two copies of it i had to get it um definitely not passing up bb king um next one another bb king here we've got mr blues bb king this is one i did not have um it's it's in pretty nice shape i know the vinyl's in, in really good shape um we'll just take it out and check that label really quick really thick thick heavy pressing on a uh, abc um, so that was a good find. Um, any BB King that I don't have, you know, is going to be a good find for me because I'm a BB King fan and I know his stuff goes for a little bit. This is probably like a $20, $10, $15 record, so that's not bad for under a buck. Um, next one, obviously, already have this one. Who doesn't? You got Zeppelin. Um, 
I don't know about the pressing of this, if it is, you know, an earlier pressing or not. I do know that it has the original inner sleeve and uh, the records in its own little separate sleeve. It's on the Atlantic label. Um, check out the dead wax really quick, see if there's anything special in there. There's an AT, that's ADCO, a W. Hold on. There's an R, RG. There's an RG. Whatever the hell that is. I think a. I don't know much about stampers and stuff like that. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm definitely not an expert. I don't claim to be. And honestly, personal opinion on the whole stamper thing. I don't give a shit. Um, I just like the music and. Uh, you know, maybe one day when I'm really bored, I might get into that. But uh, for now, kind of just, and we'll do this later, just into the music. So there's that. Next one is a double LP, a Chuck Berry. And I always pick up Berry, man. Chuck Berry is, I, you know, I love him. This is St. Louis to Frisco to Memphis. Um, it, it also, and this is the cool part about this, I didn't even notice this until now. It also includes a memorable Fillmore concert with Steve Miller Band, which is one of my favorite groups of all time. So that is awesome. And it's just, you know, classic Chuck Berry, and it's in great shape, gatefold, beautiful. Now, you can only imagine that if this is the stuff that I'm, you know, I didn't, sh I didn't show you yet. This, you just wait and see. Uh, we're still not done here yet. Um, okay, so next one, this is Al Coyola. Tough guitar, kind of just something, you know, guitar-y. I always pick these up. Sometimes I pick them up. Um, sometimes they end up being really good. Sometimes they end up not being so good. So I picked it up just to check it out. Um, I don't pass up a lot of stuff. Um, next one here. This is uh, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. I personally am not familiar with them. I know, they're, I know it's blues. I am guessing this is going to be some pretty good shit. Um, but yeah, Gatefold, uh, single LP though, but just some, what looks to be like Chicago blues, um, looks really, really good. Um, and I love my blues, man, and to find blues is not easy, so when you see it, you fucking grab it. Um, next one, Derek and the Dominoes, some more bluesy type stuff. Derek and the Dominoes in concert, double LP, Gatefold. Beautiful little gatefold on this one. All right, so we got that one. Next and last over here, I think, is the Fifth Dimension Stoned Soul Picnic. And you know, this is just one Fifth Dimension record I did not have. It's in good. Sh it's it's in, in half decent shape. The vinyl's nice, so I picked it up. Now, give me one second. I'm just gonna run right there and grab these because I had to sleeve and clean some of these. Um, because I wanted to, uh, I wanted to sleeve and clean some of these. Um, this first one I'm not too familiar with. I, you know, a lot of the stuff in this collection was blues related, so I'm almost going to guess that this might be semi bluesy, in a way I'm not necessarily sure. And don't, don't, don't quote me on it because I don't really know, and I still haven't got to listen to a lot of these, uh, the ones that I haven't heard before. So, you know, I'm not going. I'm just showing them. This is a. Uh, Bloodwind Pig, A Head Rings Out. Um, yeah, so, and there's the tail in the back with the songs. And I know this is a bit pricey, not, I mean, depending on condition, and it's in really good condition, so it's, it's really nice. And um, it looks, you know, um, there is one thing. I know uh, the guitarist from Jethro Tull plays on this, um, I believe. So that's one thing I do know about it. But other than that, I'd have to listen to it to really give you um, any real information about it. And I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get this out because I was supposed to do the Cray Junkies in the 20, but all this stuff came in and I figured I'd get another Goodwill Hunting up and I'll do the Cray Junkies 20 probably tomorrow. Um, this is a record I already have. And I forget who I was telling about this. If, if you're watching me you remember... This is HR is a dirty guitar player, um, the Howard Roberts Quartet. This fucking record is amazing. A uh, fucking amazing. I love this record. I put this on and just vibe, groove out, 
It is so relaxful and just so grooving. Um, there's a little organs in there. Sometimes it's a little too hard on the organs, but for the most part, the guitar melodies and stuff on this record are just some fucking perb. Um, if you ever see this out of the thrift store, pick it the fuck up. I promise you, you will love it. If I can find out who I was talking about this, I'm going to send this copy to that person. I just can't remember who it was because now I have two copies and I really, at the time, I was like, damn, I wish I had another copy of that. And I've been looking for it ever since to try to find, find it so I can send it to somebody because it is an amazing record. If you've never heard it, you've got to check it out. Go get this. Um, next one, everybody knows Taj Mahal. Well, this is Taj Mahal's, um, the Nick, Ch Nick Ch Blues, Nick Ch Blues. So obviously some blues stuff. Um, this is a good record. Um, something you don't, you know, I don't see this out of thrifts a lot. I don't even see this. Um, I have some Taj Mahal, but I don't have this one. Looking badass there on the back. Um, just a nice, nice. This was one, um, this is on Adco. This is one I'm not really sure of. I do know it's it's a little it's it's worth a couple bucks, but other than that, I don't know exactly who Royer Roy uh Rory, Rory Gallagher or Ga Gallagher. I don't know who he is. Now I'm almost positive that he's associated with some band because it's good chance that if you see a solo artist um, you're not really familiar with, there's a good chance that that person's associated with a band that is popular. Now, I probably will know once you tell me who it is, but right now, I just don't. Um, this is the album Deuce, and um, just looks like, and I, I'm almost going to have to go on a, on a path and say that it is kind of bluesy. It's probably got a little blues touch to it, considering that most of these records are blues related. Um, even the Zeppelin is a blues, basically like blues rock. So I think this is um, a bluesy type record, and it's definitely a good find. I know I've seen it, like I said, I've seen it go for a couple bucks. It's definitely something that people look for. Um, here's another one. East West, the Butterfield Blues Band. I don't have a lot of these guys. Actually, this is the first one. I think I've seen Garner show this recently, so I'm really happy to pick this up because it's definitely um, nice to find these type of things. It's on Electra. Um, Butterfly Blues Band, everybody knows, you know, blues rock, baby, and um, this is just some good stuff. Happy as hell. Um, and it's just, you know, this guy passed up a lot of this stuff um, for the Beatles' Hard Day's Night and a couple other things. Uh, the Buffalo Springfield, I just seen that exact record yesterday at my shop, so it's no big deal. I can find that. But some of this stuff is a little bit more important to me. Uh, West Bruce and Lane, why don't you? Uh, there's like a, this is a bluesy, uh, psychedelic type, type record here, obviously with, um, with, uh, West on there and, uh, Bruce and Lane. What do we got here? Um, who else is on this one? There's a couple other people, I think, on this one too. But, uh, this looks like a pretty good one. This is from 72 on the Red, Col uh, Windfall Columbia label really good shape. I mean, this is in beautiful fucking condition. So that was nice for a buck. Um, this one, I actually, when I first picked this up, I, I was like, this probably ain't gonna be nothing. Um, I've seen copies of this go for some pretty good money, especially in good condition. And this is the vinyls in tip top. Um, you know, the sleeves, not bad, but this is uh, the Zodiac. And this is like psychedelic stuff here. And what it is, is like every, they do every sign of the Zodiac. And I think I've seen someone show this, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tony Fartboy showed this. Cosmic Sound, Celestial Counterpoint with Words and Music. It's called The Zodiac, and um, it's on Electra. It's on a really nice, like, uh, kind of like a special looking Electra label. Um, you can't really see it with this, but if you were to see it in, in, in person, you'd notice what I'm talking about. But there's that one. And then uh, Harvey Mendel, Christo Red... Red, Red Nuttor, psychedelic, um, bluesy, I, I don't know, who fucking knows, I personally, I don't know much about this record, I think this is blues though, there's a little blues touch in here, a little psychedelia, um, but this is a good record, um, don't know much about it, damn it, I wish I would have listened to some of this stuff, I just wanted to get this video up, so I'm sorry about not knowing much, but this was, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but to find this at a Goodwill, after some of the shit I read about it, and... And, I, and, the, and the goddamn condition, considering it's fucking mint. I mean, this thing is in really good shape. So there's that one. And then last but not least, um, just some funk soul. 
stuff here, the five stair steps. And this is another one that is in just mint condition. And you see it go for a lot of money in mint, man. Um, it's on that Windy C, that uh, Windy C label. Original pressing, man. This is just fucking beautiful. The goddamn jacket is just tip fucking top. But I'll tell you, and it's got the original inner in there, and I'll show you the last, the back I like too. I like the picture on the back. I'll show you that too. Oh yeah, nice picture of them. Young kids, man, just doing that, doing that funk soul stuff. Um, a good, good, and a great cover too. I mean, just definitely a great cover. But if you're into funk soul, this is one to check out, definitely. I actually heard some snippets of this on, on the internet, definitely some good stuff. But that's what I got at the Goodwill today, man. And I'll tell you, I spent 20, I think 24 bucks on all that. So I think I did pretty good. Goodwill hunting. This is episode two. Um, stay tuned. I think tomorrow, late tomorrow afternoon or something, you'll probably see um, Cray Junkies 20. I have to tell you that if you thought this stuff was good, Cray Junkies 20 is going to be really good for you. Um, really enjoying the Facebook um, back and forth talking with people, sharing records and stuff. Loving the vinyl community like always. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, I don't know if I talk too much about it, but my contest for the 100 subscribers, I kind of smeared it. I'm waiting until I get to 200 subscribers, and I'm going to do a contest when I get to 200 because there just wasn't enough entries, and I didn't even really mark a date. So I don't know if I deleted the video yet, but if I hadn't um, and you are sending me stuff, just save it for the 200 subscribers because I'm going to integrate that into the 200 subscribers um, contest. So anyway, this is Crate Chunkies. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry I wasn't as knowledgeable about the stuff. I just got it. Didn't have a lot of time. Wanted to get it up. Wanted to share it with you guys. If you know anything about some of that stuff, something more, let me know. I love to fill my mind with knowledge about the stuff I'm listening to. So until next time, I'm Crate Chunkies. Keep on fucking digging. Peace!